welcome to the broadcast and live stream of Moonshot Radio. Moonshot Radio is generously sponsored by the PNC Grow Up Great Program. And here's your host, Dr. Nivia Torres. Greetings and welcome to Moonshot Radio, where every moment is an opportunity to learn. I'm your host, Nivia Torres, Executive Director of the Kindergarten Readiness Collaborative, also known as KRC. Our vision is that all children in Indian River County will be ready for kindergarten. We proudly partner with the Moonshot Mo Men, who is transforming the next generation in Indian River County by having 90% of all students reading on grade level by the third grade. With me today in the studio is a KRC team member, Miss Nikki Boswell. Nikki, welcome. Good evening. We're so excited to have you here, Nikki. Thank you for joining me today because we are launching the second season of Moonshot Radio. Thank you for having me. So Nikki, talk to us a little bit about your trajectory and your experience, particularly in Gifford, because you're the family engagement specialist in Gifford. So talk to us a little bit about your experience in Gifford. Well, my experience as Gifford is that I'm born and raised in Inner River County. Um, My residence in the Gifford areas for years until I came maybe a teenager, early teenage years. it's just like my home. And Nikki, because you grew up in Gifford and you have such a strong relationship with the community, what do you think are some of the barriers that people experience on a day-to-day basis? Well, I don't want to say barriers that we have in the Gifford area. It's just a lot of is the trust. Mm-hmm. You know, barriers, when I think about barriers, that's something that we have to kind of learn how to cope with or go through but in the Gifford area, we're survivors. Mm-hmm. So there is, I don't want to use the word barriers, um, but something that we do struggle with is the trust issue. You know, having someone to come in our community knowing that they're there for the right reason and not coming to judge. Nikki, and thank you for that clarification because we really want to empower families and we want them to see themselves as overcoming these challenges or obstacles rather than barriers, as you say. Um, And that's really very important. So when you talk about trust, then how are you in particular able to build that trust with families and connect with them? Um, when When I go into the homes or when I get connected to the parents, I try to build a relationship. Or even if I knew them prior, I still try to reconnect and build that relationship letting them know that I'm not here to judge you. I'm not here to criticize you. I'm here to support you, give you any information that you need so that you can continue to be successful in life, not just for you, but for your children at home. So let's take a step back and let's talk about your role because you just talked about family visits and and going into the home and developing that relationship with families. So What does a family engagement specialist do? And in your case, in Gifford, what does your day look like? Well, my day, again, build that relationship, going into the home. Um, It may, some families, it takes five or six times Mm -hmm. to go in to connect, to have that relationship. Once I get into that relationship bonding, allow the parent to vent and make them feel that, you know, it's life. We go through things, we face things. And it's okay. Once they feel that comfortable and to be able to vent and let us, you know, let me know some of the things that they have to overcome or face. And like my job is to be the navigate, to go back. Once I leave them, go back and see just by listening to them, what could I take them when I go back into the home? Giving them that, you know, go left or go here or go there. And to be successful and say you don't have to jump over so many hurdles to get to where you need to be. So my job is to, you know, guide the parent to where they need to go to make it a smooth transition in their home. And then the most thing that I like to do is actually working with them one on one, getting their kids ready for kindergarten. And that's my goal to go in. But as three years, it's really a little bit more than that. 
the focus is on kids five years and younger, mm-hmm. but we entire the whole family. So when you become a special family and specialist, engagement specialist, you're doing everybody, not just the five years and younger. You're looking at the older siblings. So just encourage the parents, hey, call the teacher, or if you get any information that you're not familiar with, that you're not, you know, you have a little concern, it's okay. If I can help you, I will find someone else to help you, to give you just the information that you need to be comfortable, whatever they're sending you from the school. So Nikki, aside from those powerful conversations with, that you have with families in the homes, and I love how you say that you're really engaging the whole family. Everybody is really coming together to make sure that that little one is ready for kindergarten. Um, what other conversations do you have with families outside of the home? Do you have a specific office or a location in Gifford? I do. I was really, really honored that maybe two summers ago, uh, we did play dates at the Victory Park um, connected with Miss Green. Mm-hmm. And so she was like, let's just try it. So we end up using their conference room um, at the main office. So and the first one was like, she was like, wow, you know, they, they come in. Um, again, I had to go knock on the doors, you know, <laughs> not just say <laughs> they're coming on their own. But that's again, when it comes to the Gifford area, that's how they gain that trust. Mm. She's not giving up. Right. She's going to come. Even if I turn her down, she's going to come the next day, the next day, the next day. So we had about three and it was very successful. So at the end of the summer, Miss Green was like, so what are you going to do with this, what you just did? And I said, well, I don't know. You know, I don't have an office. And she was like, I have a space. And I was fortunate to now be in the office a year after, the, you know, from the beginning. But it's it's just was giving just to seeing the outcome of the community of the kids coming to the play dates and the parents because the play dates was more enge- like, again, engaging the family and the parents were like, oh, can I just drop them off? I'm like, no, no, no. You got to stay here. Yes. You got to get involved. You got to. And they did it. And when Miss Green seen the impact of the families coming outside of their doors to be a part of it. She wants to make it a concrete thing that's located in the Victory Park apartments. So we need to um, send a special thanks to Ms. Green from the Indian River Housing Authority and Victory Park Apartments, because that is where your office is is located right now. Yes. Correct. Yes. And I know that recently you had an event that sort of encompasses everything that you described with the moonshot rocket came and everyone came outside and they were very engaged and they were reading and they were singing and that's really what we're looking for that the entire family is coming together and they're celebrating literacy and they're celebrating school readiness so thank you to miss green and to the indian river County. yeah she's amazing okay. every event every excuse me classes that we have we just don't do you know special events there's um different organization have came to the office and a lot of them is making it permanent they're not just coming in once every three months we have some coming in what three or four times a month you know that we have connected with and i do send everything that is happening at the office we send it to miss green so she's very very pleased with the outcome and she's just pushing it more anything that i need her to pass out She said, just drop it off to the office and her maintenance guy, not just Victory Park, but also Orangewood. And they post it on the doors so they are aware of what's going on in the office in the Victory Park. So let's make sure that we mention those partners that you referenced. There are other partners that do come regularly and uh, provide services at the Family Connection Center in Gifford. What are some of those partners, some of those names? Um, We have TCCH. They come. um, They're like when needed, but they are a partnership. It's not like it has to take them three months. If we need them every month, they're coming every month. We have Healthy Start come. Once a month, they're there. They're, if it has to be twice a month, they're coming. We have Sequel Care that's coming. Mm. Um, we have literacy, 
Literature they're services. there. I mean, we now have a GED class that go that's going on there. Um, we took a break over the summer, but we will be starting back um, in August. But the thing about it that is that we're going to have two parts. We have a halfway GED, and then we have a beginning class of the GED. So we're expanding that part. Um, and we're going to do it different this time. We're going to do an orientation, just mm -hmm. like they're doing for their kids. So again, we want the parents to be the model of their kids. So hey, you have orientation, so do I. I have orientation as well. So it's again, it's just from the head all the way down. Um, I can go on and on about the different things that comes there. The moonshot moment is like, you yes. know, everybody know the moonshot moment yes. is everywhere. You know, the kids live from school. And then now to be able to say they have it in their community, they're, they're walking distant when it comes to the rocket ship bus. It's just to be able to see their faces and seeing that we don't have to catch a bus to go and experience some of the things that's only happening in school. It's right in our neighborhood. And I love that, the concept that you can receive those services, connect to those agencies, and have those experiences right in your neighborhood, as you said. That's very powerful. So we're going to take a break to hear from our sponsors, Nikki. And when we come back, we want to hear a little bit about what's coming up in Gifford. We'll be right back. At the Kindergarten Readiness Collaborative, our vision is for every parent, regardless of income or zip code, to have the knowledge and tools they need to raise healthy children that are prepared for kindergarten. Our mission is to support our partners in developing a high-quality early childhood system that is family-centered. Our outreach and parent engagement specialists connect with families and build trusted relationships. KRC has chosen Felsmere and Gifford as our two focus areas in Indian River County. Our Felsmere office is located downtown in the city annex, and our new Gifford office is located within Victory Park Apartments. Our administrative offices are now located adjacent to Healthy Start and Treasure Coast Community Health in Vero Beach. The Kindergarten Readiness Collaborative, developing a high quality early childhood system for all children in Indian River County. Everyday activities are great for finding moments for talking and teaching new words. Babies' brains grow 80% in the first 18 months of life. As parents and your baby's first teacher, you can help build their brain with language and literacy skills. Involve the whole family. Ask questions. The more words babies hear, the larger their vocabulary can grow. Support early childhood education by talking, reading, singing, and family engagement. This message has been brought to you by PNC Grow Up Great and the Florida Grade Level Reading Campaign. If you operate a small business, you need services like payroll, tax compliance, HR tools, and other resources. You need Complete Employee Solutions. Bureau Beach has a team of professionals, including Anthony Sammons, Matt McCain, and Jennifer Comer, who saw the need for competent payroll, HR, and employee leasing services. Call Complete Employee Solutions at 772-978-7277 or visit their website at completeemployeesolutions.com. Are you talking about having your own radio or TV program? Then you should talk to Planet Vero. Here's why we're the best. Your show will be heard on three local iHeartMedia stations, plus worldwide on the iHeartMedia network. And you can choose our live stream option, which gives you six cameras and professional television studio quality production that's delivered to many social media platforms. Call us for a free, no obligation on-air interview, and we'll show you the power of Planet Vero, radio, and TV. That's 772-778-2832. Follow the powerful Rush Limbaugh Show on Planet Vero Radio. Take advantage of the amazing opportunities on social media like Facebook and YouTube with a live stream broadcast. Call 772-778-2832. It's the future of marketing. It's Planet Vero, and it's brought to you by Idea Garden Advertising. Visit planetvero.com.
Welcome to Vero Beach Cleaning, a complete home and office cleaning service that fits your needs and attends to your specific special instructions. Call now to schedule your free in-home estimate at 772-564-7839 or contact us through verobeachcleaning.com. 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 Very funny, Stu. No kidding. I'm Donna Roberts Mitchell, and Vero Beach Cleaning does my home every other week, and I love them. Vero Beach Cleaning. Cleaning. We're back to Moonshot Radio, where every moment is an opportunity to learn. I'm your host, Nivia Torres, Executive Director of KARC. And with me today in the studio is Miss Nikki Boswell, Family Engagement Specialist in Gifford. Nikki, welcome back. Hello. <laughs> Thank you for joining us today. And we've been spending some time talking about the Family Connection Center in Gifford and all the wonderful partnerships we have there, Healthy Start, Literacy Services, TCCH, Sequel Care, all those great partners. Let's talk now a little bit about our partnership with Dodgertown Elementary and what's going to happen on August 19th, I believe, right? Is that, did I yes, get that correct? Yes, August okay. 19th is correct. That's our setting kickoff day for Learn to Play. Um, we will be connecting with the Dodgertown Elementary in the Gifford area. Um, Principal Miss Green, she I have the pleasure of meeting with her several times over the summer. Mm -hmm. um, just getting ready for the new year. Um, we're going to be partnering so again with her kindergarten teachers and her pre-K teachers on site for the Learn to Play class. And the Learn to Play class is just something that giving the parents a little boost a little extra mm -hmm. as far as information activities of just what's really expected for a child that's going into kindergarten or what's expected when the child leave kindergarten so it's just a, it's going to be a really nice program it's going to be free mm -hmm. you don't have different topics um hands-on um a lot of on-the-go activities mm -hmm. Well, we like free. We like free. <laughs> so is it once a month on a Monday, Nikki? When do they take place? It's going to start. The first one is the kickoff. It's going to be August the 19th. Okay. And that's on a third Monday. Third Monday. And we're going to try to keep the same pattern. Mm -hmm. So every mon every third Monday of a month is going to be the Learn to Play class just to keep the parents in just a routine okay. of, you know, when do I have to go? third Monday and just okay. keep it going. And if anything happens or any event bigger, you know, in the community is going on, the parents will be aware, okay. but I've partnered with Head Start. So I will be going into their parent meetings and giving them what they did not be able to get on that third Monday. I'll be going into their parent meeting, still giving them that extra boost. Excellent. So, and I know that m folks can also get the information on the KRC Facebook page if something were to change with the date. Now, you said something that was very interesting to me. You said on-the-go activities. Normally, parents feel a little intimidated about kindergarten readiness and what could I possibly do if I'm not a teacher and I don't have the skills. So give me some examples of what could they do on-the-go to help their little one get ready for kindergarten. Well, on the go, I use that term because me as a parent, um, I lived in Lakewood Park, but my kids went to school in Inner, Inner River County because okay. that's where I worked at. So, again, as a parent, when you're working all day, you pick your kids up, you're taking them home, it's time to get ready for the next day. You have to get dinner, you have to get them ready, take a bath, and again, it's time to get down. So I use it on the go because you don't have to do at the table. You don't have to be at the table to t teach your child or have them ready for kindergarten in the car. So if you start from when you pick them up from daycare, from school, from grandma's, wherever, you can start in the car. When I say start in the car, okay, we're gonna G-O, we're gonna go. Okay, mm -hmm. mom is gonna stop because I see a S-T-O-P, stop sign. Mm. So that's on a go. You're getting familiar, letting them get familiar with letters, but you're letting them know, G-O, that's green, that means go. You see the red stop sign, that's S-T-O-P. So they're seeing it every day traveling. Guess what? They're going to know what S-T-O-P, random, 
because we're doing it on the go. Let's count how many blue cars we can see from this stop sign into the next stop sign. So you're on a go, just like as it said, on the go. And now the generations now, it's hard for them to sit. Oh, yes. And learn. So when you learn activities on the go, it makes it easier because we as parents, we deal with a whole lot of stuff. We're dealing with our job. We're dealing with bills. We're dealing with life itself. So let's make it easier because parents are the child's first teacher. Oh, yes. Yeah. So, you know, keep it going. I mean, yeah, we got to go home and get dinner ready. You know what? We're going to be, it's going to be an hour. We're going to take this hour. We're going to do dinner. We're going to take bath. We're going to get clothes for the, out for the next day. How many different things are we going to do? Three. Okay. One, two, three. You may have a three-year-old at home. Oh, you're three. So they're getting that concept that's on the go. And you're always making those connections, Nikki, which I think are so powerful. Like you said, you know, if it's the concept of three, then what things happen in three? I have a three-year-old. Part of the routine entails three activities. I love that. And I don't think that parents realize that in doing that, you're building language development and expanding your child's vocabulary. Yes, that, and that is another thing. We're going to have just a topic on language. Language is so important because if we talk and communicate with our kids, um, that's going to be with sequel care. It's okay that you're sad. Mm -hmm. What made you sad? Mm -hmm. What can you do differently so you don't have to go back around to that same sadness or just talking with your child, it gets them ready for the real world. Let me express myself. Or when another person come and they use different language, what do that mean? Can you explain that to me? That's me telling me what is it actually saying? So we have a whole lesson just with language. And why I like language is because talk about reading. Reading is so important but on a go reading is just important as reading with the book. Yes. Let's make a story. I'll start it and you'll end it. You're going to just start. When I stop, you continue. That means keep it going. So I like the language part, too, because I'm a talker, as you see. So. <laughs> well, that, that's just powerful. And sign me up, Nikki. So before we sign off, let's make sure that folks have the information for the Learn to Play classes. The first one is on August 19th, right? Yes. Two Mondays in, in two, two weeks or so. Yes. And the classes start at 6 p.m. But if people want to register, where can they register or get more information about the classes? They can just go right on the KRC page and it comes up as a play, Learn to Play. Click on it. And sign up. And it's going to be brief because the first um, Learn to Play class, we're going to actually go into a whole lot of different questions. Not to be personal, but that's just to get the feel of the families, where they're at. Mm -hmm. So at the end, they come back and they go over those same questions. Let's see the growth of it. It's very simple. Name, how many kids, um, their age, and phone number. That's all it. the basic information. All the that we basic need. information, and we'll go further in the first night, and that's August the nineteenth. Excellent. And I also want to let folks know. I think it's important that there will be food, and sometimes that's an obstacle or a hindrance to people coming because they're thinking about dinner time. So there will be food, right? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Everything is free. Free food. Free lesson. <laughs> Excellent. Nikki, thank you so much for joining me today. We look forward to the first Learn to Play class on August 19th at Dodgertown Elementary. And we want to thank again the principal for allowing us to really host this powerful parent training. Thank you, Nikki. And thank you for having me. And until next time, this is in Moonshot Radio, where every moment is an opportunity to learn.